In my last video about Moore versus Norman, we covered location, schools, and weather. So let's talk about some housing options that you have in these cities. Norman in total is 189 square miles. The landmass of this town is huge. Norman is also the third largest city in Oklahoma. There are honestly so many neighborhoods. There are lots of housing options, mostly single family, but let me talk about a few. So Brookhaven is the largest neighborhood in Norman. It is on the west side and it actually covers three different elementary school districts so that kind of tells you how large it is. One of my most popular videos is a tour of this neighborhood and you can go watch it. I'm gonna put it right here for you if you wanna see it. Like I said, there are so many neighborhoods, but one of the things that people ask me about a lot is campus. So the houses around campus can be pretty old. By pretty old, I mean uh, like 1920, 1930, 1940, 1950. So if that's not old to you, I apologize, that's old to us. There are also three historic districts that are very close to campus and they have some really cool houses. New builds are also extremely popular in Norman. We have quite a few different neighborhoods that have new builds in them. Norman is kind of weird in that you can live in Norman, but maybe not be in the school district. Um, so some of there's some outlying areas that I'm not covering here that if you want to know more about that have a little bit larger acreage, you need to drop a comment for me so I can tell you about them. Right now in Bellatona, which is a neighborhood in South Norman, you can get a brand new house for under $300,000. Eagle Cliff and Cedar Lane are also very popular and they're also on the south side of Norman. On the north side of Norman, our newest new build neighborhood is called Flint Hills. It's actually right across Tecumseh from where I live. So I live on the south side of Tecumseh and it's on the north side of Tecumseh. Red Canyon Ranch and Little River Trails are also very popular new build areas in Norman. And there's also Hallbrook, which I love Hallbrook. I think it's a beautiful neighborhood. So many trees. Sometimes my new clients from YouTube ask me about condos in Norman and we don't really have that many. You would think we'd, we would have more because we're a college town, but we just really don't. So popular condo areas are like The Edge, Cottonwood Ridge, and East Village, and they're all close to campus, and none of them have covered parking. Golf course living is also an option here in Norman. There is the trails and Belmar. Although Belmar, the school district, is not Norman school district, it is Moore. Moore is quite a bit smaller than Norman. It is actually only 22 square miles. Moore is the seventh largest city in Oklahoma. Moore can't grow any more landmass because Oklahoma City surrounds it on three sides and Norman surrounds it on the south. Apple Valley is the largest neighborhood in Moore. And I really like this neighborhood because it feels like you're kind of out in the country and it has a really great price point to it actually. So I have several clients who own property there. Bears is another large neighborhood on the west side of Moore. There's lots of different areas in Moore. Like they can't build too many new houses like in Moore city limits, but there are a lot of new houses outside of Moore city limits in Moore school district. Broadmoor Heights is one of the few new build neighborhoods in Moore and Broadmoor actually used to be a golf course. Tabor Homes is the company building homes in that neighborhood. And I think they're really nice. Edgewater is another new build neighborhood. There aren't very many homes left to buy, at least brand new in that neighborhood, but I know resales will come up pretty soon. As I mentioned, Moore School District is bigger than Norman School District because every residence that is in Cleveland County but has an Oklahoma City address is going to be in Moore School District. A lot of times when I'm talking to my real estate clients, when I'm talking about Moore, I'm talking about Moore School District and not Moore, the town itself. I do not know of any condos in Moore City Limits. There are just a few townhomes and duplexes though. So at the time of filming the median house price in Moore is hovering around $220,000. And then the median home price in Norman is hovering around $250,000 to $260,000. And that's probably never gonna change the fact that Norman is more expensive than Moore. That's just like historically how it's been. Now, the main reason people tell me they don't want to live in Moore is because of tornadoes. There's nothing I can do about that. Tornadoes are not something that I can control or any person on earth. You can install a storm shelter in your house. And I can tell you that the prices on that right now are between $3,000 and $10,000, depending on what kind you get. Many Oklahomans don't have storm shelters. I personally don't have a storm shelter. And one day I'll make a vlog for you of how me and my husband handle <laughs> 
tornadoes whenever we have a warning at our house. I get a lot of questions about new construction in both of these cities. So as far as new construction in Norman and Moore, Norman is always going to outpace Moore, the city itself, in terms of how many new builds we have bigger population, more land mass, et cetera. But if you're looking outside of more the city and into Oklahoma City, you will find a lot more options in Oklahoma City that's also in more school district in terms of new builds. So I'm Marcy Billen and I am a real estate agent in the Oklahoma City Metro. I do live in Norman. I work a lot, especially on the south side of Oklahoma City. I have several neighborhood tours that might be of interest to you. So go ahead and watch those next and please stick around for part three, which will be here in a couple of weeks and don't miss part one. So go back and watch that as well.